Well, we begin tonight at 11 with sobering numbers, predicting Michigan is still nine days away from the coronavirus peak. There are new projections out from the University of Washington that suggest Michigan is facing between 1,000 and 4,500 deaths from COVID-19. That's assuming we continue strong social distancing and other protective measures. That's a long way from where we are. As of today, the state has 259 confirmed deaths. And the model numbers suggest Michigan's peak will come right around April 11th. And by the end of August, we're projected to have about 3,000 deaths. Tonight, President Trump with a harsh warning. This is going to be a rough two-week period. As a nation, we face a difficult few weeks as we approach that, that really important day when we're going to see things get better all of a sudden and it's going to be like a burst of light with detroit emerging as a real trouble spot president trump says help is on the way governor whitmer says hundreds of ventilators arrived today from fema and the army corps of engineers has been hard at work inside the tcf center downtown and that's where mar mcdonald is standing by have they given us a word yet of when they think they'll be able to start being ready for patients Devin, I think the hope is that it's going to be April 9th. Take a look behind me. You can see the Army Corps of Engineers has their emergency operations vehicle out here. They are hard at work inside. The governor tweeting pictures of the ventilators that have rolled into the state from the strategic national stockpile, more than 400. I just spoke with the uh, governor of Michigan, had a great conversation, and uh, we sent uh, a large number of ventilators to Michigan. We're sending them to Louisiana. We sent additional ventilators to New York, additional ventilators to New Jersey. And that's not all FEMA is sending. FEMA has 200,000 swabs in a truck headed toward the state of Michigan. It's clear that Detroit is a hot spot for this virus and the state and feds are treating it as such. When we see it going up in a certain state and Louisiana could be one and Michigan could be another with Detroit because Detroit is having a lot of uh, a lot of hard time. While supplies are rolling in, the governor says she's going to issue her executive order on K through 12 schools this Thursday. Sources familiar with the order have told us that it will close schools for the remainder of this school year, but online and remote learning will continue for students and it will count toward their instructional hours needed. Although the governor is maintaining that no decision has yet been made. It's really important that we get this right. And I know people are um, anxious, parents, students, teachers. Uh, we have 1.5 million kids in Michigan who are not in school right now. We've got very different districts across our state with different challenges and different resources. And so I think um, we need another day and a half to finalize things and, and make, I need to make some final decisions here and we'll make an announcement on Thursday. Back here live at the TCF Center, the work inside Kobo, or excuse me, the TCF Center continues. Army Corps of Engineers, uh, the estimate is they will have a thousand beds ready, hopefully by April 9th to handle that overflow from the hospitals. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Back to you. It's going to stay Kobo for a lot of us for a long time, no doubt about it, Mara. All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know, you get it. Yeah, of course, Sandra.